and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for a Rakdos Ar Aristocrats donation deck that looks really cool. So we've, you know, we've played a lot of different like little Aristocrats decks in the past, uh, but M20 has added some, some good cards here. So basically what we have here is we have a sacrifice theme with our Aristocrats deck. And that's, if you don't know that term, that term is basically from an old uh, Return to Ravnica block deck based around Cartel Aristocrat. Uh, there was a deck that played little creatures that you would sa sacrifice yourself for profit. And that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be sacrificing our own creatures. Our biggest payoff with sacrificing our creatures is Mayhem Devil. Whenever any player sacrifices a permanent, um, you or the opponent, it deals one damage to any target. So each time we sacrifice something, we, we get to do one damage to any target. And the new, the new card that's all about sacrificing... Honestly, is this Chandra? The Chandra zero, second zero, that makes two elementals at your end step. You do sacrifice them, and so that's pretty cool. So like whenever you know you get to attack with two little one ones and then trigger your Mayhem Devil twice. So we're gonna be able to do some cool stuff with that. We of course also have Bantu that sacrifices all of our permanents. We can sacrifice our lands, all of our creatures. We can get the Bantu plus Mayhem Devil. That's a pretty good combo to burn people out. Um, Mask of Immolation is a really nice one. Uh, it you know it's a two mana one one that you just sacrifice it on its own to do one damage to any target. So it's it's basically like a Footlight Fiend, uh, but two mana. It's a two mana Footlight Fiend, basically, uh, but then also has Equip two where you can start putting this artifact on your other creatures and then sacrifice those other creatures to do damage to any target. And then of course it's a sacrifice trigger, so it triggers the Mayhem Devil. Just some pretty cool stuff that we can have going on here. Hey, what's up, Darth Clyde Frog? Thank you so much for that support. Let's get some hype votes in the chat for our new sub. Sub number seven on the day. So that's what our deck's all about. So we're going to see if we can, can grind some people down. And uh, yeah, that's what our deck's all about. All right, let's get started. Rakdos Aristocrats. I really hope we get to do the Mayhem Devil 3 mana Chandra. I really hope we get to use those the interaction with those cards. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of Oh, that's good good call there, Wood. Yeah, when if we have Judith in play, um, you know, Judith of course whenever anything dies with Judith, you get that extra trigger. So there could be a lot of triggers. Very nice opener. A predict my final score thing? Okay. We can do that. Alright, how many wins do you think that we're going to have with this deck? I'm going to put up a poll here. You just type the number of wins that we're going to have. So there's there's a poll there. You can type zero, one, two, three, four, or five. Let's see what y'all think. Hey Clyde, I did have a good fourth. Here we were here uh, streaming. Had a very good stream day. And uh yeah, this is a good 4th of July. Thank you there. Ooh. Priest of Forgotten Gods is really good in this matchup. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice one of the Judiths so I can play the other Priest. Sure. All upstairs. We're adding two black mana here. We'll get another priest in play. All 
All right, so it looks like most people thought four and then and then three. Four and three were the two they were up ahead. Basically, nobody thought zero or one. Very nice, very good there. Four and three, and then two and five after that. All right, Hawkeye, looks like we're going to win three or four. Preferably five, though. No, one priest down. Hmm. This is really unfortunate. We 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 really need that priest. I guess some other good sacrifice fodder. We had to draw a creature that cost two or less there. We didn't do it. Very unfortunate for us. All right, we're going to try to burn our opponent out. All right, hoping they don't kill us. If they don't kill us, they're dead. So that's seven, eight, nine. That's nine damage. On my count. Nine's not twelve. That's all that's all the codes right there that there are no ceilings. Those are all the codes that are available. Also, let me know if any of them don't work. For some you know, like I'm not sure if any have expired. I don't think any of those have expired. I think they all work. All right, good game there. It was a close one. Yeah, we're taking nine. I could have gone with like the cool, the cool win of. Sack my firebrand, do two to my butcher, have the butcher do the three to them. But I mean we we just attack, they're they're dead. Thanks, QQ. Thanks for picking that up there. So there was one that didn't work. Starter Styles, that one didn't work. I want to take out Tybalt for more removal. 
but I don't know what removal spells to play. Yeah, I guess it's just Lava Coil because of Feather. Dreadhorde Arcanist doesn't die to Lava Coil either. Alright, that's all I want to do. curve no interaction here yay interaction here priest is honestly probably our best card in this matchup it's the card that we, we want to just be able to play it and have them not kill it it's it's our best card we gotta hope they don't kill it That's step one of the play it and have them not kill it. Just to first play it. Alright, that's not going to kill it. So if I play Chandra, I wish I had a way to ping this Tajik and kill the Tajik with the sacrifices, but I, I can't, I mean, I, I can kill the Tajik, but then I can't activate Priest also. I'm trying to, I don't think there's a way for me to activate Priest and kill Tajik. Maybe we'll draw a mono black card that costs two or less. No, so the the ping cards would go on the stack first before before the damage goes. So I like if I would have if I would have had like uh, the other one one for example, not fanatical firebrand, I could have played dreadhorde butcher. And if I would have had the one one that dies whenever you sacrifice it, I, like these would have both dealt a damage, and so I would have sacrificed both of them, had the two damage go to Tajik, and those those resolve first. The Tajik dies first, and then they have to choose the sacrifice. So then they would have sacrificed the tenth district legionnaire. No, the priest dies. Ugh. I need the priest. Sweet. 
just just do a little chump here. Oh, that was the line. Yeah, hero. Yeah, you you called it. Yeah, I should have just I could have just played butcher, go to combat, make the butcher two power, and then sack butcher and firebrand. Then that deals the two damage to the Tajik. Definitely thought there was a line somewhere. <clears throat> and then they would have sacked 10th District Legionnaire. for a week We should be good to go here. You know, next turn I can I can equip over here to the Dreadhorde Butcher and sacrifice the Dreadhorde Butcher. They're gonna need like lava coils. Boom. All right. Want to know? No, I had the Firebrand back to block just in case. Don't really want to block with the Judith. You just block and then sack and do two damage. Mask is good. Yeah, this deck's pretty sweet. What a cool con. What a cool deck concept. Yeah, this is. Our aristocrat deck is, is really coming through. Chandra and Mask are definitely some good upgrades to the deck. And M20. And I always Hawkeye being around here. Um, let's try this. I need to draw red mana. I have like cat hair like right on my face. I can't get rid of it. Not gonna let them turn on Wizard's Lightning. The uh, that's that's perfectly fine. The uh, the worst play that that could possibly happen to me by playing that shock there is them going turn two Steamkin. Anything else? I liked doing that. I'm going to try next turn to have Reveler draw three instead of just drawing one. Could be a mistake.
All right, new cards. Yeah, I guess I probably should have just double blocked and killed both, shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should have just traded Footlight Fiend for Steamkin. My other one. Yeah, I... Yeah, I should have double blocked and killed both. I didn't do a, a good block there the previous turn. So am I, am I sacrificing this thing and another thing to kill the Krenko? Yeah, we'll just sack the full life in. Gosh, this is difficult. So if I attack with everything, they get to kill my Dreadhorde Butcher, but then I get a counter on the other Butcher, and I do six damage to them. Yeah, I mean, I, so I can kill, so I can kill Steamkin here and just have the butcher. I can sack the butcher and kill the Steamkin. Is that worth it? All right, y'all tell me to do that. Well, then I should have attacked with this one one then too. If that was the plan. Oh, no, I want... Ugh, I was supposed to do the one damage upstairs. Well, I missed one point damage there. This does an extra damage. So I missed two damage there. All right, so I had a bad block earlier. Now I missed two damage here. Difficult deck to play. Difficult deck to play here. But we're in a pretty good spot. Pretty good spot indeed. Hmm. 
So I could do one damage to them and put gutter bones back in my hand, but not in play. I think I'd rather just have it in play. Hey, Milligan. Draw your three cards. You got a frenzy out. All right. Never punished. So we want... We want a good amount of removal in this matchup. Frenzy could take over. I mean, again, this doesn't really seem like a Tybalt matchup. Uh, I guess just trying to make our deck not as bad against Chain Whirler is probably what we need to be doing. Usually these, these matches go kind of longer after sideboard. If I have all of these things in... We're at 22 land. Hmm. What are, like, my worst cards in the deck? Is it... I mean, it's probably just Priest, actually. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think this is a Priest matchup. Um, Golgari Stompy, I, I put the list up a couple of days ago. But it got pushed back, so you have to just look, for, like, two days ago. Opponents on mono red. Could get rid of the gutter bones. Yeah, I'll just get rid of the gutter bones. You don't like Dreadhorde Butcher against Mono Red? It's all yeah, it's all kind of dependent if it if it hits like that first one. The one one, of course, isn't super strong, but it can still you know it can trade for two spells. It can trade for like a shock and a, a one two. You know if it gets to hit there. I am a little worried about, like, Bantu's good at, like, the 5-6 body is good, but I'm worried about casting this thing without Priest. Maybe we should have cut down on a Bantu. So Full Life Fiend will deal one damage to them and trade with Firebrand. Not bad. Yeah, if we can get the lands, Bantu's great. It's just... We'll see if we can actually get the lands. They're down to three cards. What are they mulligan to? They mulled to six. Yeah, they just have mold to six. That's not anything too crazy. Hmm. Bad wall. Bad. Penumbra with that resub. Lucky number 13 months. Thank you so much, Penumbra. And that gets us very close to our sub goal. Only need two more subscribers. So we got Shock and Wizard's Lightning.
living in a monastery full of firebrands? Don't worry. I brought company. I wouldn't mind having another one of these in the sideboard. For like for like this matchup, like just recasting lava coils and shocks. With that minus two. Uh, that's unfortunate. Man. Yeah, that Lava Runner is perfect. It turns on the Wizard's Lightning, too. Consider this it's a great card. Burned. I didn't want the, the Dreadhorde Butcher shocked here without being able to kill something, but now I can play the Butcher and do damage to him. Where if they, if they kill my Butcher back, then we kill the Lava Runner. I'll save Lava Coil because, you know, Chain Whirler, Phoenix, cards like that. Cranko. Yeah, Krenko would have definitely been a problem if we didn't have removal there. They draw a bolt. I hope not. We're going to sack two. We'll keep three lands. All right, looking good. GG's. Red Horror Butcher was awesome. All right. Yeah, with these Rakdos aggro decks in the past, I've definitely really struggled at beating Mono Red. That's been like one of the toughest matchups for the red black aggro decks that I've always played. So good, you know, good showing there. Uh, winning those matchups, the Footlight Fiends honestly were very good in those in that matchup. Definitely really liked the Footlight Fiends. Um, yeah, they were. They were very good. And that's a card that I probably have underrated. Well, our before we played the Dreadhorde Butcher, though, so the turn before we played the Dreadhorde Butcher, the reason why they threw those burn spells at us is because both of the both the burn spells they played that turn were off of uh, light up the stage. They were going away. So our opponent didn't really have a chance to save the removal for Dreadhorde. There. Cool, you've been playing Rakdos Zombies and Best of One? And having a lot of success with that? Good to hear. Hmm. This could be a really, really strong hand. We'll see how good... Priest of Forgotten Gods is in this matchup. Okay, it's usually not very good against Watery Grave. So I may just re -moddy and ditch the... Okay, never mind. We still tie in. Alright, we're Priestin. Oh yeah, we definitely Priestin. Mm 
Very glad I didn't attack with Footlight Fiend and offer the trade now. Good attack. So what am I going to play here? Mayhem or Judith? I think Mayhem. Yeah. Mayhem Devil. This is of Monsters and Men. This song. Priest, priest adds two black mana whenever you activate to your mana pool. Just want to discard the priest. Do I want to discard this Bantu? No, I probably don't want to discard Bantu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, in, I'm actually getting rid of the Judith because with the two black mana I get to play Priest here. I don't want that, that mana just to be wasted. Legion's End is a good card. Yeah, I like that. I think it's very good against Wild Growth Walker and Hydroid Crisis in particular. You want it in those matchups, but then you also want it against... Um, you also just want it against Mono Red and Mono White. So yeah, I like it as a cyborg card. That's a lot of decks. This will kill our opponent here. Bantu will. I mean, well, we just have lethal just attacking also. Yeah, the blue-white flyer deck felt stronger than I anticipated when playing it. Bantu to assert dominance, you say? We don't need no lands. We, just, we got a machine gun over here. Man, Priest of Forgotten Gods was just awesome. All 
All right, so we don't need the shocks. We probably want the extra Tybalt because of Wild Growth Walker. I want to cut two Bantus here also. All right, let's go with this. Yeah, not the yep. This is not the easiest deck to play, with all like the little triggers and everything. It's a it's a difficult one. So yeah, if you're picking this deck up, I uh, just know you probably be making a few mistakes here and there, and and that's okay. Um, mistakes can cost you the games with this deck too. Um, so you know if you could make a couple mistakes and lose some games from it. But that's okay. It's always good to learn. Sorry, excuse me there. All right. Got a coil for a wild growth walker. That's always good. That's an annoying card. Do I trade Dreadhorde Butcher for Branch Walker? I suppose so. I don't know if this is right or not. This, you know, clears up the battlefield, makes my Chandra next turn better. I guess Chandra does get to minus two and recast my coil, so maybe I should have just coiled. Well, obviously, I got to kill that thing. So we don't get to play Chandra. Missed a point of damage on the attack. No, no, the elemental does not have does not have haste, no. So my thinking here is that if my opponent's plan is to play Masker Girl, the Jade Light Ranger is going to be dying anyway. So I don't really need to coil it. Next turn I can double coil. By getting Chandra down right now, I do get to cast two coils next turn. Also, if... JR doesn't die. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Really? Elder spell? Mm. 
What are we doing over here? I don't I don't know what the, the coil play Gonna take up everything. I can sack all five of my creatures to kill this your rock. Or sorry, I can sack all I can play Footlight Fiend and then sack everything. Yeah, Priest would get cast down also. That Elder Spell really hurt. So we're not going to let him gain life here. It's really unfortunate they have this cast down. <sighs> Masker girl. Just have every angle covered. Yeah, we can we can bait the cast down out with the dread horde, but then but then the massacre girl cleans up the battlefield. Hey, kitty. I will not be playing grill midrange today. No. If I try to equip to the Butcher, they can kill the Butcher. Um, and then I don't have enough to get rid of the Yurok. This means that if they play Masker Girl, Yurok's gone. Oh, Yurok means double Masker Girl triggers, though, so that it would have been gone anyway. Oh, well, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. I suppose. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. 
No, it doesn't. So they have cast down in two cards, and I have a priest. So priest and cast down trade for each other. Oh, the Dreadhorde Butcher isn't going to actually do damage. Oh my gosh, I just messed this up completely. Yeah, Dreadhorde Butcher doesn't do any damage. Yeah, I mean, I, I make mistakes. <laughs> you know, I play all sorts of different decks all the time and everything, and yeah, I'm going to make mistakes. It's, uh, it's really into there, so... And they had Elder Spell? Hmm. <laughs> Massacre Girls are rough. Hey, Arthur. I want to get this fourth coil in here over the Bantu. So the problem with Lava Coil being our turn to play is that our opponent doesn't have one drops to Lava Coil. So like we're, we're just not going to do anything on turn two. So I would like to draw a two drop here. Thing. Yeah, I was probably going to lose without even without that mistake. Probably. We have seen cast down from them. Dreadhorde Butcher is the highest upside play here. Definitely feels like cast down. Let's go Chandra's. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pyromancy student. This means that we could double spell Coil Butcher next turn. Yeah, they got cast down. Good play with the Chandra there. Yeah, so they definitely got cast down. <laughs> Judith does not die to cast down. And Judith with Chandra. Pretty awesome. Say hi to my not only makes friends. these hit for four, but then they also die. You get the sacrifice triggers. Oh, no, you don't get the... Oh, it's not token. Right, 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 right. Non-token. Sorry. Ma B. I 
have another cast down? Say hi to my fiery friends. I guess it's fine to cast down this now. You'll still deal three damage with the butcher. Ooh, no cast down. gets hurt. So even if Massacre Girl comes down next turn, My friend is kills Massacre Girl now kills Judith. Or Massacre Girl would not have killed Judith before. Um, even then we have the coil for the Massacre Girl. Like we do one damage with the Judith and then we have Chandra to finish it off. So Mas Massacre Girl's not an out. So uh, so I felt safe with that. All right, a lifelink creature can't gain life well that's convenient all right lifelink creature not now don't worry I brought company GG's I definitely like our opponent's deck. I was playing that one earlier today, too. That was, uh, opponent was playing the Sultai Cavaliers deck from yesterday. Hopefully, let me know how they're... Hey, Coop Scoop, how, how's that deck treating you? I, uh, yeah, token creatures are permanents. Um, I think I changed something in the deck. I changed, I changed a couple of things in the deck. Um, like, I'm not playing, like, that 2-1 anymore. At the end of the video, I changed two things, but then I changed something else today. Um, so, because that deck needs more lands, basically. So I took out the two 2-1s, two added in another Drowned Catacomb for a 25th land, and I put in a Jace, since you mill your, yourself out sometimes. And I put in two Rex Ages over something. I don't remember what. I don't think those were in there before. I don't remember what was in here before. Um, but I honestly could see playing a 26 land in the deck, honestly. Like, this deck just needs so many lands. I could definitely see playing 26. But, but yeah, hope you're enjoying the, that Cavaliers deck. That's... That's definitely one of my favorite decks right now. All right, but our Rakdos Aristocrats is looking strong with a 3-0. It's looking very strong. Yeah, give us a try. It's not the best Priest of Forgotten God's Hand, because we won't be able to activate Priest on turn three unless we draw one drop. That's not a mulligan. Alright, I think we just killed the Llanowar Elf that they shocked in for. I really want to get priest active. We need to draw a one mana card, of course, here. Come on, draw one mana card. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, 
Which one's... Which is the one that we're sacrificing? The Judith or the Devil? We have to sacrifice one of them. Yeah, we'll do Judith. We get to attack with the monkey. Yeah, that sounds good. I got the incubation druids out of here. Hmm. No two mana creature. I'm not sold that the Tibalts need to be in the main deck yet. I'm not sold on that card. The more, the messier. In case they have some kind of life gain thing. Hmm. So it's got to be Ilharg and something else. It's got to be Ilharg something else. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hold it back, priest, to stop it. Stop Ilharg for sure. Ilharg Ravager Worm. Ooh. Dang. This doesn't work well with... Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have the, the Tibalt, though. All right, so do we just kill them? Like, are they just dead? Let's see. Do a little bit of counting. My so like one, two, so. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then sacrifice at end step eleven, twelve. Alright, well this this does twelve, so I'll just do this line. It's doing twelve damage. I don't know if there's a I don't know if there's if this is the most optimal line, but this this line kills them, so. So there's four. And then the priest also makes him lose two life for six. Chandra Nalar, Pyromancer Extraordinaire. Mostly. Sacrifice this thing for another couple damage. Drew that land, we'll put this on the Mayhem Devil. And this does two here, and then we would end step. Sacrifice them, do the two. And then we would have been able to do Two more with the devil there. If 
Okay. Let's see. So they're playing like Ilharg cool stuff kind of thing. I think we're again taking out Tybalt against this creature deck, putting in coils. They're playing a whole lot of mana creatures. Shocks seem awesome. And don't know if we really need Bantu. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure the deck really needs the Bantu or the Tybalts. Honestly. The the Bantus, of course, do have the, the big combo potential with the with the devil. You have the big time combo potential there. I kinda want more kinda want a fourth of the little Chandras. And just like the you know, burn spells. Yeah, yeah, the that is true that the the Tibalt did put out some tokens to sacrifice there. Yeah, it did. Stupid hexproof. I like Tibalt in the deck. I'm just not like I was saying. I'm not sold that it needs to be main deck. Is what I was, what I was going with there. All right, I'll, I'll admit that I don't have a great plan for that thing. Do I want to shock Druid or do I want to use Firebrand? I guess I should probably just shock. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fine. We'll shock the. We'll, I guess we'll shock the druid. Yeah. I mean, we can chump these the null hide with these things and shoot them. Ah. Got punished. My my line was just gonna be using the firebrand. Ah. Got punished for using that shock. I'm getting a new hand. We need priest. We need priest of forgotten gods. Creatures this big. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I can kill the Ilharg. Lava Coil, Firebrand, equip this to something, sacrifice. Like, a, So it would take out my Gutter Bones, Firebrand, Lava Coil to kill it, but then it'll be back in a couple of turns. Is that what I need to do with my life, though? No. I'm not winning that game if I do that. Oh, well, we need another red source. Let's get rid of this thing before it turns into a 3-5. Yeah, maybe our sideboard needs some black removal that can take out big creatures. Yeah, you're saying like Bone Splinters is an option. Um, I think Bone Splinters is worse than... there's The card in War of the Spark is the best version of those. I don't remember the name of that card. Spark Harvest. If you want to sacrifice things, Spark Harvest is the best option. Uh, there, Maybe there's something better than that. I don't know. But that's better than Bone Splinters or other variations of that. Yeah, we could just have, yeah, I could just have stuff like Bedevil. Could have like Angrass Rampage, which is even cheaper than Bedevil, and we do a good job of clearing up little things, so like maybe like an Angrass Rampage, like maybe that gets it done. Ilhark having trample. Jeez. Too many sixes. It's not good to have three of those sixes in a row like that. Poor Bantu. Poor Bantu, not even big enough. Ugh. Hmm. No, it's much better when we have Priests of Forgotten Gods. <laughs> That's against those things. We kind of need our Priest. Yeah, Angrass Rampage does trigger Mayhem Devil, too. That's a good point. And yeah, of course, killing the Planeswalkers. So yeah, probably Angrass Rampage instead of, like, Chandra's Triumph, for example, in the sideboard here. The Chandra's Triumph doesn't look... doesn't look appealing, but an Angrass Rampage would look a lot more appealing. I think the only card I'm kind of considering is a Chandra. The four mana Chandra. I'm going to take out one coil for one. I don't think my opponent's going to really be able to deal with four mana Chandra. Besides just attacking, which could do a whole lot of damage kind of thing. So, like, maybe we can use, like, the extra cards. Threat and ultimate. Maybe we can, like, jump enough, get, like, the ultimate, do something. 
Oh boy, if I knew we had a swamp on top, I would love this hand. I don't think we're gonna risk it. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Come on, deck. Uh, well. So we'll just get rid of... Get rid of one of the butchers and the devil. I don't, I don't know when we'd ever put in Sarkin. I don't, I don't know. I'm guessing against, like, Esper. I suppose. I, I don't think Sarkin's a necessary card in here either, though. Okay, good. No lightning strike. Don't kill priest. Don't kill priest. Hooray! That's definitely not killing priest. Looks like we may have him here. They said good game. I'll say good game back. Alright, so I can just activate on my turn. There's not really a reason to activate now. Ooh, boy. That's a good one. <sighs> Won't lie. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Say hi to my fiery friends. That just gives me a token to sacrifice instead of the Remodi Reveler. I definitely... I need to sacrifice the Footlight Fiend. Because the Footlight Fiend... Uh, kills the Lanoir Elf when we sacrifice. And so now they have to sacrifice something else. We draw a shock. We'll hold on to shock. I like this card a lot. I want a fourth one of these. This card's great. Wow, we are 4 and 0. Oh. This deck has been sweet. <laughs> Thanks no ceilings. Yeah. Um yeah, we are on our final boss again. All four decks today have gotten to the final boss. We are back in our final boss playlist. Get those final boss emotes in the chat. If you don't have your own final boss emotes, con consider hitting that sub button. We need two more subscribers by the end of this match to get our sub goal. Come on, we can do it. Two more subscribers today. Get all those awesome emotes, including your final bosses. All right, what do we got? Good looking hand, that's what we got. Not sold on this card yet, but we'll see. Yeah, the deck looks really good. I've had. I'm like, do you do you need the melodies in the main instead of just playing the four manipulation? And having the melodies in the board. Besides that, it looks great.
Hey. Dar. Hmm. Darf Tritra. Something like that. Getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Santa, Santa JRC. All right, what's my line here? Gosh, we're just one mana short of the God Eternal Bantu. Could go Mask. Our Wilderness Reclamation opponent came ready for us here. Just gotta get rid of this 03 I can't get through. I was supposed to just play Tibalt. Tibs. Gotcha, makes sense. I think I like Baffling End in that kind of deck also, sideboard-wise, I've had for aggro. I Sorry, I don't have the deck open anymore. I don't remember if you had Baffling Ends in your sideboard or not. But if you don't, consider trying that card out. So they have infinite mana. Um, they discarded Ascanta? What is their hand like if they're discarding Ascanta? It's got to be great. More Ascantos. Yeah, your hand's great. You would make an excellent. Let me aid your research. Have to kill that thing. They're gonna have as can't a flip. The only thing to fear. It is very, very unlikely that we were winning this game. They get three as can't activations a turn to look for ne Nexus. They just need a Nexus in the top 12. Never mind. They just need a Nexus in the top 16. Alright, well, I don't think they're whiffing. They're definitely not whiffing anymore. That's the game. Because their other three activations get just other card draw and everything. That 03 really slowed me down. Hmm. I mean, do I play Lava Coils because I have that 03? I wish Sarkin was like Legion War Boss even. Or just another one of these Chandras, definitely. Where's this other duress? We only have three duresses in here? 
Well, we need more dresses. All right, I guess this is what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, this thing hits planeswalkers. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess we play that over coil. Sure. Our deck's close. I like the main deck. Yeah, our sideboard, we have we have a few dead cards in our sideboard. But as you see, the, the power of our deck is still pretty high. We're still doing very well. Good night, Ived. Of course, if we did have Angrass Rampage in the sideboard, it would not do be good against Tamiyo. For example, there. Yes, that was the card I was hoping. I was I was envisioning Dreadhorde Butcher off the top. Oh, perfect draw. Here we go. Let's go. Butcher. Okay. Do they have fog or anything like that? All right. Man, Dreadhorde Butcher was perfect. All right, I'll put one priest back in over a Bantu. Basically, the bond, you know, like we want to, like maybe be able to bond two combo with Devil, but Devil is definitely worse without having Priest also. So I'll I'll just put in one Priest. A one power, a two mana one power creature though is not ideal in this matchup. All right, so I'm playing Firebrand on one, Dreadhorde on two, and then turn three, do I want Devil or Reveler? Probably Devil, so let's ditch that. Yeah, today's record's been really good. We've faced the, gotten to the, the final boss every match today. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Just gonna shock here in case we need triple red next turn. You know, we could draw the three mana Chandra and want to have Chandra plus shock, for example. And the two life doesn't really matter on their side of this matchup. I am Tavio. I think you will find my notes helpful. So no wilderness reclamation is really good. Uh, that's Wilderness right, right there. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12. 13 if I sack that thing. I can do 13 here. Is that all I can do? That's eight. This is ten. This thing can do three damage by sacrificing. Yeah, what if I shock and ping the butcher? So that's that's eight right here. Then the butcher turns into a five. Yeah, I think that I think this gets us there. I was kind of running out of time. I, I wasn't even running that much out of time. So we do two there, one there. Yeah, th this should get us there. Perfect. Dun, 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 dun. That's the win. That is the win. Turn four kill. Man, Dreadhorde Butcher is great. Angry Bats, I knew it. I said five woods. There you go. Ooh, we got a Marari Raptor. That's a good rare. What a sweet deck. Yeah, that's so that's the Aristocrat. That's what Aristocrats is all about. Kill your own creatures, win games. That's the Aristocrat style right there. So yeah, we actually had 15 there. We got to do that extra one. So yeah, we actually had 15. Um, so yeah, pretty awesome deck here. Uh, Chandra and Mask of Immolation, both very good upgrades to the deck. I was wrong about Footlight Fiend. Um, I was kind of saying that maybe Knight of the Ebon Legion would be better in this kind of deck than Footlight Fiend. I was definitely wrong. This deck's really focused on sacrificing and everything. The full life fiends were awesome, uh, and they were really good in the aggro matchups. Like, like against Model Red, it was just such a good blocker. It was just really annoying for our opponent. All the little pings everywhere. We didn't really do anything with Bantu at all. Bantu does have the cool combo potential with Mayhem Devil, but it may not be worth it. Like, you know, we're a twenty-two land deck. It really is hard to get to five mana. Um, I could see getting rid of the Bantus and having like maybe one Bantu but having like some other removal in the main and maybe an extra Chandra. This Chandra is awesome. Very good. Uh if not if not the extra Chandra in the main, if not the fourth Chandra in the main, the fourth Chandra the fourth Chandra Acolyte of Flame should be in the board. This you know against like removal heavy decks. Um So maybe something like this. So if we have if we have this this card in, over here, and we have let me get these extra shocks over here. I want like a maybe one more reveler. I wanted like one more two mana creature. At times. So I kind of like this here for main deck. 
um, you know, kind of cut cut down the curve a little bit, take out like one of those Tibalts and, and those two Bantus, get another Reveler in here, uh, another cheaper creature to sacrifice. Um, the Revelers were pretty good. I liked them. Uh, and then, you know, have like the four shocks in the main deck. And that gives us, take that card out. That gives us room for a couple Angrass Rampages in the sideboard. And then something instead of Sarkin. I don't, I don't think you really want Sarkin at all. I like a second Tibble. Um, oh, a fourth Duress, like for like those kind of matchups that we're just playing against. I think you want a fourth d Duress. Big shot, like Big Chandra. You're just not going to cast it with 22 lands. You're just not casting Big Big Chandra. Um, yeah, you're just not casting it. Yeah, it could go Tybalt. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. Could go Bedevil. Could just have one Bedevil. Also with the Rampages. Um, yeah, I like I like just having a, a Bedevil. That works there. Uh, there could be, could be something else like, what like a re kindling phoenix, legion war boss, midnight reaper, midnight reaper. Could be an, a midnight reaper against removal heavy decks. Midnight reaper is good. Um. Yeah, honestly, I like Heartfire. Good call there on Heartfire. I remember playing this card before, in the last time we played the Rakdos Aristocrats, and really liking it, and and honestly being really impressed by this card because yeah, this this does give you a Butcher Sack outlet, also, and you know triggers Mayhem Devil, and four damage is a lot of damage. I think I want a, a heart a heart fire in the main. Maybe get this shock back over there. Maybe don't play the bedevil. Honestly, maybe play heart fires instead of rampages. No, you do have to no. I think maybe have the rampages. Heart fire is is really nice because that that can do a whole lot of damage. Um, whether you're sac even if you're just like, you know, sacking a footlight fiend. And having a Mayhem Devil in play, you know, if you're doing something like that, you're doing six damage with a Heartfire, for example. No, don't want Fireblade Artist in this. Heartfire, I like Heartfire more main deck. I think Coil, Coil is, like, better when you need to, like, exile things. Um... And when, when you're playing against a lot of creatures, you don't really want just a bunch of heart fires in your sideboard to kill creatures because you are like sacrificing your other, you know, you have to sacrifice your other creatures and stuff. You kind of want to just coil their creatures and then, you know, attack in. Um, but yeah, this deck was really, really cool. Yeah, like, you know, it, it felt really, really strong and... So yeah, thanks Landon for the the, the donation deck there. Um, weakness is he heavy removal or card lock. Light up the stage for card draw? Nah, probably not. Probably unnecessary. Uh, Rekindling Phoenix is is a good card. Uh, I don't know, maybe over Bantu. I I would want to keep a Bantu in here because that that combo potential with Mayhem Devils, you you can you know it's a really nice combo. So I like keeping a Bantu. Um, yeah, Cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, Cry of the Carnarium is pretty tough. That's why I really like these Chandras. Just a three-mana card that doesn't get Cry of the Carnarium to way that lets you just keep on hitting. I think this is kind of like a... this. I think this is just an upgrade to War Boss for this kind of deck, honestly. I like that quite a bit. The minus two being able to recast Heartfire also is, could be could be just a ton of damage <laughs> you know you you have you know like let's say you have like your two creatures and your chandra out uh turn four you know like you have your four mana you heart fire uh and then minus two chandra heart fire again <laughs> you could do a lot of damage 
Um, so yeah, I mean, honestly, maybe maybe a second heart fire instead of the Bantu, or a second heart fire instead of the Tybalt, maybe, or or just a second heart fire instead of the third shock. You know, like maybe maybe it should be two shock, two heart fire. Uh, those are kind of some things that if you have a personal preference on any of those decisions there, if you like Bedevil more than Angrass Rampage, um, you know, over there, you know, whichever one you want. Um, but awesome, awesome deck here. So yeah, thanks for that remove. or sorry, thanks for that donation deck. I'll put this one under the favorites thing for sure. That was a really good league. Uh, finished off by a really sweet match there at the end. Um, yeah, whenever whenever you donate, uh, just send your deck list in the donation uh, message. You know, like whenever you donate, you can send a message. Send the send the deck list there. Um, first, it's easiest to put put the link up on it. Like put the deck like not just like the whole thing like for this for that. You know, like put the deck on a on a third party site like MTG Goldfish or something like that. Um, and then put the link to the deck there. That's the easiest thing. And then also not only put, put the link to the deck list and then say what day. And, you know, if you're watching this later on YouTube, you can also, some people will donate for decks, um, off stream and everything. You can do that. You can just tell them just in the message, say what day you want your deck played and then what slot for second, third or fourth that day. That's all you need to do and send the deck list and I will be playing your deck. It's a $20 donation to have your deck played on stream like this. Um, Mask of Immolation. That's this, this card. <clears throat> so turn one Fiend, turn two Butcher, turn three Chandra, turn four Heartfire is a spicy lethal. Yeah, there you go. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching Rakdos Ar Aristocrats here. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons. I'd appreciate that. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.